So if you watch my recent video, you'll probably know that I have just set up or I'm in the process of setting up for a great one fallow grind. Now, my main reason for doing so is actually not for the great one. It's to take down and hopefully find some really cool rares along the way. Just uh, drop him. But to me, the fallow deer are some of my favorite animals in the game. And I thought that this could be a great excuse to get out and really get into some rares. I've never really given it a chance. I've never really done a proper grind and proper setup. So if you haven't seen that video that I just did and that guide, definitely go and check it out. It'll probably help you in a lot of ways, whether you want a great one or not. But the purpose of today's hunt, we're going to go out and see what sort of things we can find. We are still at, towards the beginning of the grind. I'm probably just a couple of hundred kills in. But as you can see, we are getting a few decent spawns, especially ones like this. Nothing to write home about, but it's certainly progress. But hopefully, as the day goes on, we can find some even better ones to make this a good video. Now, we have got a really solid stag coming in there. He's around about 200 meters out. Obviously, we're not going to be too precious with our shots when it comes to the grind. But we will let him slow down just a little bit, at least. But he's a, he's a 200 plus buck, which is really good really quite big 200 to 241 and if he's gonna slow down like that i think we're probably gonna take we'll have to hold just a touch high and hopefully he's gonna slow down because i don't really want to be taking this shot not while he's on the move anyway this should be doable and dropped him we might as well get him as well this is a grind after all he'll be going down as well so here's our buck here he is quite nice. I think he will be sort of low to mid range of those 200s. But 218, that is fairly decent. It did have a really large estimate for that amount, but he is rather heavy set, so that does not surprise me. We have about 300 meters out here, a level 5. I believe that could be the chocolate variant. It's hard to tell from here. About 200 meters out, a level 5 potential diamond 212 to 253 the estimates relatively low i'm not sure that it'll make it but we obviously got to get it down anyway but that's a really nice surprise for pretty early on into this grind and this hunt so we're gonna try and take the shot not the angle that i really like but we'll uh we should be able to get a shot into him and he's down we might as well take him as well if we can sneak some sort of shot he's going down as well but really happy with that guys that's a pretty good start as you can see i've already been Sort of shooting around just a little bit here. We have got bodies pretty much everywhere. One there, one over there. We got two over here, a couple more over there out of render. So we've definitely uh, done a number. But if you guys are looking for any fallow deer, this spot up here on Terra is ridiculous. We're coming up on this big fallow deer here. And honestly, hopes aren't high. It's certainly not that massive for a level five. He does have a big lot of height on those antlers, though, so it might make it. Oh, I shot it with the wrong gun. Turns out, I shot this guy with the wrong gun. I shot him with the 300. Once again, I had the keybind in the wrong spot, and I do use the 300 sometimes when grinding these just to take him down a little bit easier. But, yeah, luck would have it. It was a very good shot, but we did use the wrong gun. Don't do that. But luckily, he was still nine points off of a diamond, so we got to be careful next time. But, uh, yeah, at least we got him down. That's one really good potential respawn, but yeah, don't use the wrong gun. Well, after that costly mistake on that level five, I have decided I no longer trust myself and I have gone ahead and completely <laughs> removed the 300. I don't like hunting unethically anyway, and the 308, as long as you place your shots fine, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So I'm not stressed at all about that. It gives me a bit more carrying capacity. Not that I really need it, but... I'm more than happy to sacrifice that because I don't want to be making a mistake like that on a deer that might actually make diamond. Old habits die hard. I've been playing this game for years. I've had this sort of certain calibers in certain spots for like the last three years or so, and I don't use the weapon wheel. I use the hotkeys. So sometimes I get a little bit confused and uh, I had it in the wrong slot, and that is why I got confused. But we're all set now. Holy hell what a rare find that is just over here on the bank on one of my setups here so this is a respawn we do have quite a nice level three piebald 
Hello, dear buck. That is crazy, guys. I love the fallow deer pie balls, and I always only seem to tend to find them on dopes. So I'm really happy and really stoked to actually find one on a male. That'll certainly be one for the lodge, provided we can get him down. But that's pretty cool, guys. That is really rare. You don't really seem to ever find something like that. We'll just make sure that that's the other large one. Um, he's a little level three. So these are the two biggest ones, which is, well, the piebald's not, but he's a rare, so I'm not going to not take him. But that is so cool. You never really find that. They're rare for a reason. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to lay down so I don't actually miss the shot. Not that I trust myself overly. But we should be able to get a pretty decent shot on him. He's going to go down from that. He's gone down already. And that fella has as well. How good is that, guys? We just got ourselves a really nice eyeballed buck. That is pretty damn cool. While I'm running over here to grab this guy, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what is the coolest rare that you've ever got. This isn't the coolest rare that I've got. If you didn't see a few weeks ago, I managed to somehow get my dream trophy, which was an albino male lion. But something like this is pretty cool. So definitely let me know in the comments, what is your favorite rare that you've got? Or what is your dream rare? Now, it's certainly not going to score very high, but just the fact that it's a eyeball that actually has antlers, <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. And honestly, it's going to make a pretty cool photo. Uh, we'll just try and get something like that. Getting a piebald stag is pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. Alright, there he is there. He scored a 129, so actually on the bigger size of his estimate. I am gonna obviously get taxidermized that. We'll check him out in the lodge later. But, guys, that's, that's pretty cool. Solid shot there. We managed to get a right lung. Little bit left of the heart, which is a shame, but that's fine. 165 meters out nothing wrong with that but that is the coolest thing we have found on this grind so far this early on in the grind being able to find a rare yeah, it gives me pretty high hopes for the future that's for sure well guys check this out look at this absolute giant fellow deer 210 to 252 just check out the size of the antlers on him I reckon he'll be closer to that upper range which is great we do also have another really nice big level four over there and a nice little level three there but they've got nothing on this dude this guy is absolutely huge so we are going to just take him from here because i do have a herd over the other side that i don't want to scare away and that should be a perfect heart shot got him going down real quick coming up on our big male now and this guy is really nice um he looked bigger from a distance honestly but yeah, he's pretty solid. Um, he's a 239. That's really good. He's only 10 away from Diamond. That's a really solid fellow deer there. I'm super happy with that. I'm pretty glad to be taking him down, to be honest. He's got very, very nice antlers. So, I mean, <laughs> this fellow grind has started off absolutely fantastic. We found at least three really great trophies so far. So... I've got really high hopes for the future. Well, as what happens, every time we do a dedicated hunt, we find something that's not uh, the right thing. But this is a huge, absolutely huge mythical stag. He's going attentive and the wind is in a bad spot. So we need to make sure we get him. Oh, that shot was a bit far back. But I think it did still catch a lung, which is fantastic. I'm pretty glad we had this stand with us, actually. It's literally just outside of this outpost. I just spawned in there outside of my regular route because I am still trying to fine-tune some things, but I certainly did not expect to find a huge mythical red deer stag out here in New Zealand today. Not something I was planning for at all, <laughs> but that's usually when the best things happen. And speaking of the best things happening, we have a huge fellow buck out here, and we are just going to take a longer shot on him. He's... Uh, 200 plus again, 200 to 241. And uh, we've been, yeah, really, I don't know where that second shot hit, but probably the spine, I'd say. 
We've been really lucky finding some monster fallow deer today. We're, it's just a day for some big things, I think. First, a potential diamond, which was a diamond troll. Then, this massive red deer and a couple of other big ones. I think all the, uh, all the genetics went into this fellow here, though. If you look at the size of the other ones. But he's a huge 231.5 mythical red deer stag. That thing is just gorgeous. Is that not the best goddamn sight ever? Seeing a huge mythical like that? Oh, it just makes me so damn happy. Completely forgot to start recording when we picked up that big buck. But he was a uh, 218 score, so relatively reasonable. Uh, not a monster, but pretty damn good. I think overall, the more that I actually do this grind, the more that I feel that we're actually making some good progress and getting bigger spawns. We got four really solid level four bucks, all probably well, really close to 200 at least. A uh, little one there that's not really very important, but we've also got another really good 197 to 239 down there. So we're certainly making progress. Nice chocolate one there. But we're going to try and take these ones down here. We're 300 meters out, which is fine. We've got to try and take out at least, hopefully, two of them. Which one was the biggest one? That one's 183 to 224. And this one is up to 227. And that one is up to 235. So that's the biggest one. We're probably going to try and take these two here. I think that'll be the best. We just need to hope that doe gets her head out of the way. Completely missed that first shot. Uh, but we hit that one there. So that's a lung. And that's a, probably a lung on him as well. He's going down really quite slow. But uh, we'll just try and hit him again. Those ones have gone. But we're definitely making a lot of progress. We're certainly finding some really good size animals now. And hopefully it's not too long until we start seeing some diamonds and stuff. So, yeah, we're, I don't know exactly. I'm not counting how many kills. I'm just rolling with the punches, I guess. <laughs> but we're certainly a fair few kills into it now. But it's just really reassuring to see some bigger bucks starting to show up. So, here's the first one. And I believe it was the biggest one. Still made a gold at pretty much spot on 200. So, relatively decent. Not the biggest. He was certainly on the low end of its estimate, but that's pretty much to be expected with, I mean, a majority of animals that don't have a ridiculously large rack or anything out of the ordinary. So I'm not too upset by that. This one will be even smaller. Actually, no, it was way bigger. <laughs> well, there you go. That height certainly helped. It's quite uneven, actually. This one sticks right out the side there, but no vital organ. Um, yeah. Hit a bit far back in the intestines, but that is perfectly fine. 216, another one down, and it's just a numbers game at this point. So we're going to end off today's hunt in just another beautiful fashion here. 150 meters out, we've got another really good, very respectable fallow deer. And just got him down, simple as that. There's another decent one out here. He's a lot further out, but... No issues there. That's just a tiny little spike there. That thing is fantastic. That's a respawn from one of our threes. So, yeah, not ideal. But finish off there with two really solid bucks. We'll go pick them up and see what they score. That one across the way there, though, should turn out to be quite a decent scoring buck. So this one down here just won't really score that high. He is just below 200, which is unfortunate, but he did still make a gold. If I can get a diamond at some stage during this grind, I would love for it to end up being a white variant. That variant is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so here's this nice stag here. From a distance, I would say that he's going to probably score up to, uh, over 200, but he didn't. 199.4, essentially the same to me. That's fine. Really nice fluffy coat, but... That's going to be the end of this hunt. I hope you did enjoy it, guys. Let me know down below what kind of hunts you'd like to see. And if you'd like to see more on this fallow deer grind, there will be more fallow deer videos. Don't worry, because uh, I'm not going to grind for hours and not film anything, especially not the cool stuff. But it's nice to be able to get the big things today and also a really nice rare stag, which is super great. So I hope you did enjoy, guys. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.